Tonight, the state health department making changes because of an Action News Jax investigation exposing a flaw in a system meant to protect you. Action News Jax investigator Jenna Bourne went undercover to expose unlicensed people performing a popular cosmetic procedure that could lead to serious health issues. Microblading is a tattooing technique where needles add pigmentation to the eyebrows in a way that mimics hair. In order to legally microblade in Florida, you have to have a tattoo artist license, and the place where you do it has to have a tattoo establishment license. I have to make sure everything is sanitized and everything is clean, and I just try to use alcohol and everything. Licensed tattoo artist Sudi Jabelli says microblading can put your health at risk if it's not done safely. The woman whose eyebrows you're seeing here spent three days in the hospital after microblading. She's asked not to be identified. I was terrified. I was terrified. To become a licensed tattoo artist in Florida, you don't even have to know how to tattoo. All you need to do is pass a three-hour safety course on contagious diseases and pay a $60 fee, a small price considering what's at risk. When it comes to needles and blood, you can imagine what's going to happen. All type of diseases, uh, uh, contagious diseases can come out. But we found multiple salons in our area advertising microblading services without a license, including Fantasy Brows, offering this group on and bragging about its satisfied customers on Facebook. Book your microblading appointments today. So we did. Wearing this hidden camera pen that legally records video only, I showed up for my appointment and was rolling as Homisha Davis told me she didn't have her license with her. So I left. I came back with a microphone to ask why the state had no record of a license. I'm actually a reporter with Action News Jax. Why are you tattooing people's faces without a license? Davis just walked away. Aren't you worried about getting in trouble, ma'am? Ma'am, aren't you worried about the salon getting in trouble? We found two other Jacksonville businesses advertising microblading on Groupon without a license. We made appointments at both, and when we showed up undercover, they admitted they weren't licensed yet and canceled the procedures. While the state of Florida lets you search doctors and contractors' licenses, I found out there is no online license lookup for tattoo artists or establishments. Your only option is to search for inspection reports on the Department of Health website. But I found this search function was flawed. If I tried to search by address or missed any part of a business's name, even a comma, nothing comes up. After I took my findings to the Department of Health, the state agency made changes. So now you can find what you're looking for. Jabelli says another red flag to watch out for, bargain prices. If people charge you cheaper, there's something in it because microblading is expensive, licensing is expensive, uh, pigments, if we choose the good brand and FDA approved brands in the uh, United States is expensive um, and it is art. A beauty treatment that comes with risk and the best deal in town may actually come with the highest cost. I love it. Thank <laughs> you. Okay. Reporting Jenna Bourne, CBS 47 Action News Jax.